we're going to learn how to do the elongated crisscross stitch. This is the technique I use in the shawl smorgasbord pattern. It also shows up in shawlography. So grab some needles and yarn or cast on that pattern and let's learn how to knit those fun elongated crisscrosses. This is what the finished elongated crisscross stitch looks like. So follow your pattern and whenever you start doing that crisscross elongated stitch technique, the first thing you do is usually on the right side and it's gonna say, in my patterns it says, knitting to uh, the end of the row while working four wraps into each stitch. So whenever it says to knit while working four wraps into each stitch, you're gonna be doing all of these yarn over wraps. So into every stitch, you're going to dive into the stitch, wrap around one, two, three, four, and then pull the yarn through and off. One more time. Knit to, into the stitch, wrap one, two, three, four, pull all of those through and off. Let's do that for you English style knitters. You're going to knit and wrap one, two, three, four, pull it through. You'll do that into every stitch. So follow the pattern. When I'm doing that technique on the shawl smorgasbord pattern right here, it's gonna be some, you're gonna have some edge stitches that don't have the wraps. So only when the pattern says to knit while working four wraps into each stitch. Knit one, two, three, four, pull it through. When you do those wraps, don't wrap them too tightly because you want them to slide on the needle easily. And when you're working with this technique, it's really nice to have a needle that has a smooth join from the needle to the cable. If you have an interchangeable needle or some type of needle where that gap, that join is kind of where it snags or you can feel a, a big difference between the needle and the cord, it's gonna be hard to move your stitches later. So get a needle with a smooth join, knit and wrap one, two, three, four, not too tight, pull all those wraps through, and that's the preparatory row. I do that on the right side. I'm ready to do the cross technique. So follow your pattern. On this row, I need to knit some stitches and the pattern says to purl to. Okay, so do whatever you need to do. Now the important thing is when the pattern says cross eight stitches. When you need to cross eight stitches, follow the instructions and you first need to slip eight stitches purl wise onto the right needle. And as you slip those eight stitches onto the right needle, you'll be letting go of all of those wraps that you just did. We're gonna do that eight times, eight stitches. So what do we have? How many? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight long stitches. Once you have those eight elongated stitches, insert the left needle through the four elongated stitches furthest from the tip. So I'm gonna take, so that's one, two, three, four. I'm gonna take the furthest four, these four, do you see that? And I'm gonna pull those over the other four, <gasps> just like that. And when you pull them over, you wanna try to keep those stitches in the same order. Once you pull those four over, slip those four back onto the left needle, and we're going to purl all of those stitches. The first time you do this, it's gonna feel a little weird because it's so loose with those big stitches, but just trust Give it a try. Purl all eight of the stitches now that they're crossed. And once you purl all eight stitches, everything you just did represents the cross eight stitches instruction. So all of that was cross eight stitches. I'm gonna do that all the way till I reach the end of my row. So with every group of eight stitches, I'm going to slip eight stitches onto my right needle, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then go into these four stitches furthest from the left needle, get those four on top of the other four so that these four come through like that, and then place them back onto the left needle I was really careful so I didn't crisscross those stitches. 
Ooh, this one crossed over a little bit. So if, if a couple of those strands, you know, get a little tangled, don't worry about it. Just purl all eight stitches and you won't really be able to tell, but try to keep the stitches in the same order. And now you can purl all eight stitches. Let's do that one more time. Look at that, we have that beautiful crisscross. Oh, I just love it, especially with a variegated yarn. You really see those hand-painted streaks of color. Beautiful. So one more time, once you do more of those crosses, you may have to charge your needle with more stitches. And if it gets a little tight, I go to the base of the needle and I just use my thumb to coax those wraps onto my left needle so that I'm ready to do the next eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Get all of those wraps off. And then we're gonna take these four, keep them in position, take these four with the left needle tip, pass them over the other four, pull them through, and then we need to purl all of these stitches. Did I get all four of those? Got one, two, three, oh, I left one. There we go, four. Make sure you pull all four strands through and then purl all of those. So the more you do it, the easier it gets. And don't be too scared of those elongated stitches because if one accidentally falls off like that, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's so long and loose that you can just rescue it and purl all eight stitches. The elongated crisscross. And when you're done working all of those crisscrossed stitches, it's gonna make this really open and flowy effect with this big space in between all the crosses. And I just love the effect. So it takes a little bit of time to do all those wraps and you're gonna need a long circular needle, but once you do it, it looks really beautiful just like that.